This is a basswood tree and it needs honeybees to pollinate it and it grows by seeding which a lot of trees grow by cloning like poplars and sweet gums they do a lot of cloning underground rooting and shooting up suckers but the basswood doesn't ever do that and it evolved with the honeybee can't live without the honeybee and the honeybee can't live without it and they're native to both North America and Europe so this leads me to believe the honeybee is also native to North America I know, I know, I've read modern books that say the honeybee's not native, but I've read old books that say it is. And I can't see anyone who read the, wrote the modern books knows anything about what happened in the past more than the people who wrote the books who lived in those days who said they were native. The only bees that were considerably imported that made a change was the Italian honeybee, which is the, about the same as the regular dark honeybee the carniolan or the black bee but anyway they're all the same they're apis mellifera and um, the Italian bee apis mellifera lingustica it was imported in 1857 and it was only imported because the black bees were a little too aggressive they said some people said there were still plenty of diehards that wanted to keep just the black bee and we had them around in the woods the black bees they weren't kept by most people in modern times, but as they started switching over to Italians, a North Italian, which is Carniolan, they, um, they left the black bees in the woods. And we had them all out in our woods. And then Varroa Jacobsoni was tampered with somehow, maybe to kill the killer bee, I don't know, which I don't even think exists in real life. But um, So they started a big thing about killing the killer bee and trying to find a way to wipe it out in the 70s. And they spent a lot of money messing with enemies of bees and stuff. And um, Varroa Jacobsoni, a harmless mite that only fed on drones and only lived in tropical countries and only lived on Varroa, I mean, um, Apis serrana and Apis dorsata, never did want to live on uh, female bees or Apis mellifera. Suddenly, we get a new mite called, Ape, called Varroa destructor. And Varroa destructor can take cold climates, doesn't live on Apis serrana or Apis dorsata, doesn't even live around where Varroa destruct, I mean where Varroa jacobsoni lives. It lives around where it's not of, around. It lives where it's alone. And it might be because it has weak genes or something, but um, it only lives on Apis mellifera and attacks female bees and male bees and can tolerate temperate climates, cold climates. Whereas Varroa jacobsoni cannot and doesn't harm anything. Varroa destructor destroys. But ever since Varroa destructor came here around 1995, we have not had any more of those wild black bees in the forest. They're gone. And the only bees we see are these mixed bees that have some Italian in them and some black bee in them that we, live, that we keep in our hives. These mutts we have. And I have bought queen after queen. I've bought Russians, I've bought Carniolans, I've bought Caucasians, I've bought Italians, I've caught the wild bees. And every one of them, the bees, the worker bees, even after weeks and weeks, they still look the same. They all look the same. Every hive is uniform. The queens are all different. I don't know what I'm going to get when I pull a queen out of a hive. Some are black, some are yellow, some are reddish, some are brown, some are gray. But the worker bees are always mixed up. And every place I've been, even getting them out of houses and things, they're the same old bees. So I'm thinking that the races of bees are now gone due to the fact that there's no areas, no vast areas with wild bees anymore where bees can adapt to the color that best suits them. But really there's no difference in, the, in races of bees. They're all the same. Sometimes they're aggressive, sometimes they're gentle. It depends on the hive itself, not the race of bee. So really, honestly, there's no racism in honeybees. Um, you'll find a lot of people that disagree with me, but I find that as long as they're Apis mellifera honeybees, they're all the same. And um, I do not believe in African killer bees because the African bee comes from Apis mellifera, which is the European honeybee anyway. The African bee is Apis mellifera subspecies, uh, uh, oh my, what's it called? A dawn. Oh man, I don't even remember because it's not real. Um, not Adonis. Oh. Adonsai. Adonsai. But it used to be Scutellata. They've just changed the name. 
Um, they can't make up their mind what it is, Scutellata or a Donsai, because it's a made-up story anyway, and it started in 1957 also, about 1957, and it was started, uh, you can look it up on badbeekeeping.com. Um, Dr. Warwick Kerr was malaligned by the Brazilian military dictatorship at the time that was very corrupt back then, and he was protesting with his students because he was also a professor and they put him in prison and made up the story about him training his bees to attack people in their sleep and go through their houses and kill military uh, leaders in the most horrible way it was just a bunch of bull and the government of the united states picked it up after it became horror movies and stuff they said hey let's uh let's make this into something to make money off of and they've been doing it ever since and when I was a kid in the 60s, it was never told about. And then in 1970, they started talking about it and bringing it to our schools. And they still do it now. They brainwash kids about them in their schools. They always have someone come in and say, now watch out for honeybees. The killer bees are coming. Now they said this to me in 1972. And they said, by 1976, you'll have to be careful what colors you wear outside. And we're just trying to figure out what we can do to kill them before they get here. But there'll be this bunches of them coming. Well, it's 2017. They were supposed to be here in 1976. And honestly, they aren't there because people in Brazil are making more honey than we are. We're too busy trying to kill our bees and lie about killer bees. We're the only country in the world that's afraid of them. And I don't understand why, because they're right next to Europe in, uh, in Africa. And they're not afraid of them, and neither is Europe. So I'm getting tired of that. Just a bunch of crap. It's not good for the honeybees either.